Let's get the latest on Ian from the Hurricane Center right now. Uh, 2 p.m. advisory. The center of Ian is about to make landfall. Life-threatening storm surge, damaging winds and flash flooding, lashing the Carolinas. As of 2 p.m., location is 33.2 north, 79.1 west, about 55 miles east-northeast of Charleston, South Carolina. Maximum sustained winds are 85 miles an hour, and it's moving north at 15 miles an hour. So it looks like it is going to make a landfall north of Charleston, perhaps around Myrtle Beach. Uh, minimum central pressure, 977 millibars, 28.85 inches. Uh, and uh, looking at the... Um, Maximum sustained winds, 85 miles an hour. They extend outward up to 70 miles from the center. And tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 275 miles from the center. A weather flow station at Morris Island Lighthouse recently reported sustained winds of 75 miles an hour with a gust of 82. So pretty impressive stuff right there going on. And let's take a look at the latest um, on the warning cones here. And you'll see here again, there's that hurricane warning for South Carolina. Tropical storm warnings for North Carolina and part of Georgia. Um, looking at the power outage situation, yeah, they're they're piling up. We have 211,000 people without power right now. Charleston, uh, the coast here, getting hit very hard. These numbers are likely to go up quite a bit. Uh, and even North Carolina now being affected as well. We've got 82,000 in the state without power. Um, let's go to the latest satellite. Here it is. So here's the latest satellite. Looks like it is just about making landfall uh, right around Myrtle Beach. It's a little further north uh, than some of the other models were saying, but uh, there it is. Um, looks like right around Myrtle Beach, it is making landfall. Um, it looks like the center of it right there. Uh, we can take a look at some of the radar imagery as well. Um, so let's do that. Let's go to the radar imagery. And uh, we'll go to the weather service radar, I guess. We'll go to the weather service radar out of Myrtle Beach. All right, so let's go to the latest forecast, Wilmington, North Carolina. All right, so here's the radar. So this is the simplified radar view. Uh, we can go to the enhanced radar view, which is what we'd rather look at here. I'll show you again where it is. And there it is. So it looks like it's mostly on shore now. Right around Myrtle Beach. Looks like the eye has gone right over Myrtle Beach. So that's what it looks like right now. We probably have a landfall at Myrtle Beach right now. And to show you what was going on in Myrtle Beach, we had a camera that just wound up going down very shortly. Um, but uh, you can see here a significant storm surge flooding here. Uh, they're in the eye wall here right before it goes down. Um, and you can see, look at the water just coming onto the beach there. Um, here, um, this is uh, one of the cameras here. So you can kind of see what's what's happening here with the storm surge. And you can see it's really just the whole beach is swamped here at this point. And then just before it goes down, things get really bad. So um, you can see here, uh, you can barely see anything out the camera. But um, you can see here. Uh, look at those waves, those huge waves coming in. And the whole beach is getting inundated here with water here. Pretty much it's flooded. Uh, we'll watch a little bit of it, but it does go down. Um, and then we lose the camera very shortly after this. And we can see the water is just coming in, surging in there. A uh, huge storm surge right there going on in Myrtle Beach. And they probably, like I said, lost power probably shortly uh, after that. Yeah, that's where it pretty much got stuck. Uh, and you can see right there that, all right, well, it was going a little bit more. Um, you can see there, look at that. That's incredible. Uh, the whole beach is getting swamped. Um, you know, it, it's an, it's incredible. When you look at it before, if you look at that little clip before, you can see there's a beach that used to be there, uh, but not anymore. Um, and it is completely uh, inundated with storm surge here. Look at that storm surge right there coming in. Um, this is incredible. So, yeah, this is... Pretty incredible here. I figured I would show you this um, before the camera went down, and I guess they had lost power, most likely. Um, we don't know if the whole city of Myrtle Beach is without power right now. It may be. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it is or isn't. Um, but uh, you can see here that is a huge storm surge right there. Maybe the camera's back. 
Actually, it may have come back. We may be looking at this live again. Um, let's see. So this is incredible here. Now it's black now, so it it went out shortly. So he was working a minute ago. It just went black again, I guess. So we'll just watch till the end here. The end of the clip before just before it goes blank on us. Um but uh yeah, this is uh an incredible storm surge to see. Um and so we're looking at that. Look at that. There it goes. Look at that. Look at that there. Look at the water coming in. Uh, that's incredible. So that's the power of Ian right now. And it's still, it's a category one, but it's such a large storm that it's causing. Just look at that. Look at the water just coming in like that. Um, that is just incredible to see. Um, that is definitely one of the, and this is, this is just as a category one, but because it's such a large storm, it's causing these effects. Uh, it's really incredible to see. Look at that. It goes down shortly after this. So uh, the water coming in and probably lost power or something. Um, but there, the water is just coming right in, surging in. Um, you can see the camera shaking too from the wind. This is right on the beach. Uh, so these are the kind of conditions that they've been dealing with there at Myrtle Beach. So it looks like I was. It looks like the landfall is over Myrtle Beach. Um, it looks like they're getting the worst of it. you got to remember, it may just be nor just north of the eye, which is where the worst conditions are. Um, and, that, and that eye wall there on the northeast side should be the worst. Yep, there, there it goes. So um, probably lost power. Um, but uh, let's go to some of the observations now across the area there. So you got a chance to see the effects of that storm surge, which is incredible to see. Um, let's go to the observation map here, and we're going to look at some of the observations uh, from this area. Um, all right, so let's find Myrtle Beach here. It's hard to see with all this heavy shading going on. Um, all right, that looks like it right there. So here's one of the stations here, North Myrtle Beach Grand Airport. Southeast wind at 40, gust, uh, southeast wind at 26, gusting to 40. Doesn't look that bad, but let's go look, go to some of the older observations here and see what we had here. 55, okay. It's right at the beach. It looked like those winds were definitely hurricane force. Um, here's a buoy. South wind at 45, gusting to 56. No wave height being reported on that buoy. Um... Some of these weather stations might have gone down. Because I don't see anything out of Myrtle Beach. We had Myrtle Beach International Airport is not reporting now. Uh, so let's see what the latest is before it went down. Um, so it looks like they went down around 2 o'clock. So, yeah, wind's around 40 miles an hour. And now nothing being reported at all. So um, it looks like they have lost power. Uh, as a result, probably a power outage in Myrtle Beach. I don't know what the electric company is there. We can find out. Um, but yeah, we have a number of stations here not reporting, which means the power is gone. Um, so let's go. We got here is this, this though. This has been down for a while. All right. Um, so hurricane warning in effect uh, and Apache Pier southeast wind at, at uh, 48, no gust being reported here. Um, so, yeah, there's a gust of 53. So it looks like Myrtle Beach may have completely lost power. We don't know. Uh, we would have to go to, this doesn't really tell us. I mean, it sort of does, but it just goes by county. Um, it looks like it's Dominion Energy that would be the electric company here. Um, so we'd have to see. Uh, we'd have to go to the Dominion outage map and see if energy outage map. Let's see. We're going to find an outage map from them. See if they've completely lost power in Charleston. I mean, uh, well, not Charleston, but um, should have put Myrtle Beach in here. This is further. It might be a different electric company. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know which one Myrtle Beach is. All right, let's see. Let's see. So let's see. We have a lot of outages here. Yeah, a lot in Charleston. Looks like a lot of power outages already from this thing. It's just amazing how this thing is just knocking out power all over the place. Um, lots of power outages here all over. It looks like a complete outage in this area pretty much. Um, uh, but I, this is just Charleston. I don't think they cover Myrtle Beach. No, that's a different electric company. So Myrtle Beach might be Georgetown or Hari. Uh, it may be um, Sanity Cooperative. Sanity Co-op Cooperative or something like that. Um, that uh, serves this area. But yeah, the cameras have gone down in Myrtle Beach. Um, you know, I can't really find too many others uh, that we have right now. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of them have gone down. Uh, probably most likely due to power outages. Um, so, and this number is probably going to go up. We'll refresh this here. I'm sure, yeah, it's gone up again. So, Georgetown, Berkeley, these numbers, this is probably going to look red in a couple of hours, probably, um, as these outages keep happening in the area. Um, uh, I wish I could find more about Myrtle Beach. Um, but it looks, let me see if we can find another Myrtle Beach camera here. And see if we can find some more here. Um, all right, there's a couple here. Cap, well, that one went down. So Captain Quarters Resort. So we do have Earth cams. So let's see if any of these Earth cams work. Looks like the Earth cam is. Nope, that is not live anymore. So that looks like they have lost power in Myrtle Beach. It looks like. Um, there was the last image it took. Before it went down, which actually listen to it, I think the sound. Where the power went out over there in Myrtle Beach. So looks like they may have a complete outage in Myrtle Beach because all the cameras have gone down uh, at this point. So yeah, maybe let's see if we can find a big flash or explosion right before it went down. You know, kind of confirmed to us that the substation probably went, but uh, storm surge. See, it's, it hasn't really gotten up to this area yet, at least. But we don't know how old this image is, so this may have been even older than the other one, because that storm surge looked a lot worse than the Captain Quarters one. I'll tell you that. Um, but anyway, um, that is going to wrap up this Hurricane Ian update here, uh, giving you the information that I can, showing you what's going on. Uh, as far as this uh, this uh, this goes, uh, and it's it's only going to get worse, unfortunately, for people there. Um, let's. Um, I would like to get a little more information from the electric company in that area, uh, which probably is Sanity Cooper, or maybe it's Sanity Electric Corp. I don't know, but we'd like to find out some more information on that uh, if we can. But. Uh, um, we'll have to wait on that. And again, Myrtle Beach. Uh, if we go to maps here, Myrtle Beach. Um, let's just go to Myrtle Beach on the maps here. Um, not live camera, but just Myrtle Beach, uh, and just show you what's going on. So you can see some of the storm surge already happening. Here's Hurricane Ian hits the Grand Strand in Myrtle Beach. Um, so, um, so it's Horry County, actually, it would be the county that Myrtle Beach is in. Um, so let me go back to power outage map, because I really wanted to find out what's going on over there. Look, Virginia's already seeing power outages, too, now, 11,000. We're going to have some power outages around here, probably, from it, too. Uh, so let's see, uh, it could be Horry Cooper, uh, Hori Electric Cooperative could be. That's what it could be. Could be Hori Electric Cooperative. I don't know what the electric company is in Myrtle Beach. Um, but what we can do again is go to Myrtle Beach, go to Maps, and we can go to Maps right now. And show you again. This is Myrtle Beach over here. So 
Um, we don't know if the whole city lost power. It's just the beachfront area that lost power. It's where most of the cameras are. Um, but um, um, we don't know. It you know it shouldn't take out the whole transmission line grid there. Should not do that. Um, but uh, we'll have to see what happens. Uh, but uh, definitely another devastation. The devastation from Ian continues this afternoon. That's going to be it for this update. Thank you for watching.